guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to bring you guys the ultimate FIFA 17 trading guide. I'm going to be explaining pretty much every single trading method on the game, and yeah, it should be quite a long video. It should help you guys out. Got a lot of different trading methods in this video. I'm not going to be going too in depth on them though, because if not, this video would literally be like an hour long. So I'm going to be going over the basics of these methods so that you guys can use them, and I'm going to be doing an in-depth trading video on every single one of the methods in this video, and I will leave a link in the description down below to the playlist of my trading videos so if you guys do want to see one of these in more detail then just go and check that playlist and if i have made a video on that method it will be in the playlist and if i haven't then just request it in the comments of this video here i'll try and make videos on all of the trading methods in this video right here should definitely help you guys out i've got methods varying from all different budgets we start off with 1k to 5k we've got 5k to 25k we have got 25k to 50k and also 50k to 100k and finally we've got 100k plus a really big high budget method so pretty much everything you're going to need to know when it comes to v17 trading is going to be in this video so before we do get on into the video if you could drop a like on the video right now that'd be awesome i put so much effort into this video uh, i spent like almost all of my ea access on this video right here on a brand new account it took a, a lot of time to make a lot of time to edit hope you guys do enjoy so 50 likes would be awesome and let's go on into this v17 video so the first method is the bronze English 150 coin maximum price method. You're going to be bidding on English players and you'll want to look for the rare players, the players who play for good teams or play in the Premier League and players with pace. So Lookman right here, I can get him for 200 coins, compare his price quickly. As you saw there, he was going for about 400. As you can see, I end up going on to pick him up for just 200 coins and I do go on also to list him up for, I believe, 350 or 400 coins there we go 400 coins for one day always listening to cards for one day really good starter method the next method again with 150 coins is the silver bid method i like to do this with a certain league or nationality so brazil england france germany any of the major nationalities you just want to go through you want to find anyone again who looks good anyone who's rare anyone who plays for uh, a decent team or in a decent league so bruno henrique here really good example great card Plays for a good team there in the Bundesliga. If you compare his price, he's going for 950 coins. You can get some really, really good deals there. That actually sell for quite a lot, and I can probably pick him up for just a couple of hundred coins there. Really, really nice deal right there. And there are just loads of cards I could pick up. Leonardo right here plays in the MLS, so his price is quite expensive. 2.4k, really, really nice deal right there if I do go on to pick him up. And you can also do this with the leagues, for example, with the Premier League right here. A uh, load of deals you can pick up. You can do it with the Liga, you can do it with the Bundesliga, the Liga BBVA, any of those leagues, and also any of the major nationalities. Just pick any of the uh, first nationalities on the list of top nationalities on FIFA. But uh, if you do it with the Premier League, there's just so many players because they all sell for quite a lot. You can just mass bid on uh, all of them. And as an example, here is a Mika I did pick up. Uh, I got him for, I believe, uh, 200 coins, and I can list him for 450, making some nice profit. The next method is actually going to be trading with badges, and it also does work with kits. I prefer to do it with badges, though. Right here, you just want to look for a popular badge, so uh, look for Premier League badges, maybe a, a big team like Barcelona, something like that in one of the major leagues. You want to get that particular badge, you want to look up what the minimum buy now for that card is, and then you just want to try and bid under that and try and get these cards cheaper, obviously, than what they are currently selling for on a buy now. So uh, I was able to get, put a load of bids on these uh, Manchester City badges right here for 150 coins, win a load of them, list them all up for 300 coins, doubling my coins on each of them. Really nice, easy method. The next method is a chemistry cell method. You just want to go maximum buy now 200 coins and go for just chemistry cells. In general, go to the 59th minute and just press Y and B to refresh the pages. You're going to have a load of cards coming up. And a lot of these chemistry cells do actually sell for a lot because chemistry cells are a lot more important now on FIFA 17 because EA have talked about what effects these actually have on players. So they're a lot more popular. And yeah, you just want to refresh the pages. You get a hunter chemistry cell, something like that that could come up that goes for a few thousand coins. I got a dead eye for 200 coins and I can list it for 350. Some nice profit. Next up, we've got the bronze pack method. This method here is so, so good. And it has been for years. It's really good towards the beginning and end of FIFA. And you just want to open 400 coin bronze packs. As you can see here, we get an MLS player. MLS players sell for quite a lot due to the squad builder challenges. He's going for 600 coins. So I can easily sell him on for uh, 600 coins as well there. So that's already 200 coins profit from that pack. And uh, as you see there, we also got uh, an Irish player. Keep him in the club for the St. Paddy's Day Cup. His price will go up. Then uh, you just want to list up all of the players, really, because people are eventually going to buy these cards for their benches, maybe to build a team or to use in squad builder challenges. 
Also, these fitness cards will sell on for 200 coins. The rare squad fitness cards go for even more. And you can obviously get a coin boost and stuff like this that you can sell on and make some good coins from too. Now, you can get some really, really good things in these packs. For example, you can actually get some of the healing cards that go for around 1,000 coins if you get an all injury healing card. Really, really good there to make a really good amount of profit from. And you can get some great players. Obviously, you get informs. You could maybe get a really good bronze player. You could get a bronze five-star skiller, like a doer who plays for Tottenham. You can get some really, really good players who sell for quite a lot. Now, you can actually open the 750 coin bronze packs if you do want. You are probably going to not get as good profit in the short term, but in the long term, you can pack like uh, really good cards. You can get some informs and stuff like that, and you are more likely to get the uh, rare kind of fitness cards and items like that that do sell for a lot. But you just want to list pretty much everything up from the packs other than the non-rare contracts and uh, the kits that don't look that cool. If you get any cool kits, they'll normally sell. Most of the players will end up selling it. You just want to list them up for one day. Keep relisting them until they all sell on. And it's just such an easy method. Guaranteed profit on most packs. Definitely recommend you guys try this method out. Next up, we have got the silver bid method. This time with a maximum price of 700 coins and a minimum buy now of 1,000 coins. Really, really effective method. As you see here, the first player when I search is a great deal. Cruz, he's going for 1,000 coins. Uh, there's one here, right here, 500 coins, put a bid on him. As you can see, do go on to win him for 500 coins. Check his price. Again, going for 1,000 coins. I can list him up for just under that 950, pretty much doubling my coins on him. Really, really nice, easy method. Definitely would recommend you guys trying this one out. Next up, I've got the Premier League Gold and Maximum Buy Now 400 coin method. Show you guys such an effective, easy method to do. Just put the Maximum Buy Now to 400 coins and go to the 59th minute. Press Y and B to refresh the pages. You're going to have a lot of cards coming up that you can pick up. Bessich right here, he goes for like 500 coins. Most of these cards, you're going to be able to sell on for like 100, 200 coins more, make a little bit of profit. But you can get some really good deals. You can get someone like a Berahino, a Lingard, someone who goes for like one or 2,000 coins. So you can make some really good profit on these cards if a good player does pop up. But you're going to have so many cards coming up on the market, it's really, really easy to get them. And yeah, you just want to press Y and B. There are going to be cards coming up all the time because loads of people are going to be opening packs, especially towards the beginning of the game. We get a Ryan Mason right there as well. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm listing all these cards up for about 500 coins each. So I'm making about 100 coins profit on all of them. Really, really nice bit of easy trading. And you can also do it with 350 coin. Uh, maximum buy now and actually use it as a sniping method if you want as well. Next up, we've got probably the best trading method on the game, and this is the Liga NOS method. All you want to do is just find the minimum buy now for players in the Liga NOS, which should be around 400 coins, and just try and snipe players for cheaper than that. Now, the reason they sell for a lot is because of the squad builder challenges, and uh, as you can see here, I actually did a video on this method. Check it out if you do want to see kind of in more detail. I got Kamara for 200 coins as an example, sold him for 1.6. Absolutely insane trading method, insane amounts of profit, probably the best to use right now on FIFA 17. Next up, we've got the Hunter Catalyst Shadow Method. This was my favorite method last year. All you want to do is just go through Hunter Catalyst and Shadow, the three most expensive chemistry styles. Find what players are selling for in these particular chemistry styles. So I'd recommend 3,000 coins uh, for a Hunter and then 2,000 for the two other chemistry styles. Then you just want to go to the 59th minute and just press Y and B. You're going to have lots of cards come up on the market. Uh, I've had some very, very good deals appearing for me. And then you just want to add some of these players to your transfer targets. Go and check their prices. See if they are the cheapest by quite a way uh, on the market in that particular chemistry cell. And if they are, pick them up and sell them on. And uh, yeah, you can get some really, really good deals in all of these chemistry cells. Last year, I got some amazing deals like Remy and Hunter and uh, Center Mid, I think, for like 800 coins and sold them for about 5k. Uh, you can get some insane deals using this method. It is a very, very effective one and one that you definitely need, do need to try out. It's really effective kind of towards the end of FIFA as well when more cards are listed up on the market. But even right now, it's a great method. Next up, I've got the left and right forward method. This one here, again, very effective. Again, it's one I used a lot last year. And it's really, really good this year as well. All you want to do is just go left and right forward and put the maximum by now to 2,000 coins. Uh, then you just want to go through and you're not going to have too many cards on the market. You'll have like a page or two. You want to add all of the open bid deals to your transfer targets. If there are any particular players, for example, Munyain here, who are quite cheap, I went and checked his price. One for 1.5k and the other one was for over 2,000. So I could have picked him up and made some nice profit on him. And also you can do it in right forward as well. And again, you just want to go through any open bid deals you want to add to your transfer targets and bid on, try and get them as cheap as possible. 
and uh, also if you can get uh, any good bargains for example an abarbo here saw he was quite a lot cheaper than the other abarbo available 1.9k for one of them 1.1 for the other could pick that up make some really nice easy coins on him selling one uh, making about 700 coins profit which would have been pretty good but so uh, yeah you can either bid on these players or you can pick them up on a buy now uh, getting them on the buy now is generally more reliable though Next up, we have got a converting method, which is really, really effective. Don't see many people using this. You want to look up a left or right back uh, for under a 1,000 coins. So I went to Tomato right here. You want to add them to your transfer targets, then go and check that player in right or left wing back. Now, as you can see here, Tomato, really good card, probably the best full back or best right back in the Portuguese league. Checked him as a right back. Uh, right wing back, sorry, none on the market. So then you just want to go and actually pick that card up for the minimum by now that you can. Then you want to get a card to uh, convert them into a left wing back or a right wing back. So a right wing back in this case, put a bid on it for 150 coins. You should be able to win it for that price. Send it to your club. You also want to send your player to the club. Then you want to head into your club. You want to get that positioning card. And you want to convert your right back player into a right wing back, which is what I did to Semedo right here. Uh, and then you just want to list them up on the market. You can make some really easy coins. I spent 700 coins on him, 150 on the conversion, and 2,000 coins for selling one. Really, really easy bit of profit. Next up, we have got a very, very effective method, which is the converted players method. This one here, you're not actually converting the players. You're looking for them already converted. It's so effective. You can get some really, really good deals in it. So you want to look up attacking midfielders. You can also look up strikers, centre mids, but I would recommend attacking midfielders. You want to look up anyone who looks pretty good as an attacking midfielder. Add them to your transfer targets, just like I'm doing here. You just want to go through, find a load of different players, just keep adding them. Over time, you're going to know the right players to do, to do this with. You want to just use pretty much anyone who looks quite good who you would want to use. Then you want to look them up in other positions. So as you see here, looked up Dempsey as a striker, for example. Uh, 1.7k, could pick this one here up for 1.7. Uh, the lowest by now on the market was about 5k. So I got that one for 1.7. Uh, I think I listed it for 2.5. Really, really easy bit of profit when he does sell on. And you could even list it for a bit more if you wanted. You want to look up these players. So they're not just in striker. You want to look them up in uh, all, all sorts of other positions. So CDM and centre mid. See here, Mayer, he's an attacking midfielder, looks him up in centre mid, 2.4k there, uh, and the next level is 3.2, so I could pick that up, make some really easy coins on him, and uh, as I said, you do want to look them up in other positions like centre forward, striker, and CDM as well. Next up, similar to the last method, we've got a uh, method where you want to look up players converted. This time it's looking for strikers converted down to centre mids, uh, defensive midfielders, attacking midfielders. You just want to look up anyone pacey, quick and strong and tall who could be a good defensive midfielder or centre mid. Look them up on the market, uh, just add a load to your transfer targets, you can get some really, really good bargains using this method. Next up, we've got the 1-2-3 method. You want to put the minimum price to 1,000, maximum price to 2,000, minimum buy now to 3,000, and gold. You're going to have so many open bid deals. You just want to look through. You're going to have a ton of players right here that you can put bids on. You then want to go over to Footbin. There'll be a link in the description down below. That shows you the minimum price of these cards on the market on a buy now. And then you just want to look up a card. So let's go with Butland, for example. You would want to look up Butland, find what his minimum buy now was. Say it was 2,000 coins, and he was going for 1.3k on a bid. You'd want to bid up to about one point. 8k you wouldn't want to go above that so you could still make profit and you just want to bid on the card and try and pick it up and sell it on for profit very very easy method uh, very old method as well would definitely recommend it next up we've got a method which has been really really effective for me so far on this game and this is basically just looking up really good silver players so the five star skillers players like Ian Atcho, who are going to sell for quite a lot. You want to look up these cards, and you're going to find cards, since there aren't many on the market, you're going to find ones that have been undercut, you're going to find cards with really good open bid deals, and you can find players which people have just completely listed for the wrong price. Like someone like Ian Atcho, a lot of people aren't really going to expect him to go for 20k. Someone who's just got the game, got him in a starter pack, might list him up for like 1k, and you can often see cards like that. You can list, see people who've listed these cards way too cheap, and you can go on and pick them up, make some really easy coins. Also, you're not going to have too much competition to pick these cards up because they are silvers. You're not going to have loads of people obviously trying to pick up a silver card, especially a more obscure one, one of these five-star skillers, for example, who plays in a, a rarer league or from a, a, a lesser-used nation. For example, Ecuador right here. Fidel Martinez, he's going for about 1.5k, and I picked one here up for 900 coins. He'd been on the market for like 20 minutes, going for 600 coins cheaper than uh, most of the other ones on the market. So I picked that one up. Really, really easy trade. You just want to look up these cards, look for good... Um, um, bids that you can put bids on and also look for good deals that you could pick up on a buy now really really easy method would definitely recommend it 
Next up, we've got another alternative. Uh, this is another version of the 1-2-3 method, this time with 2,000, 4,000, and 6,000 as the prices instead of 1,000, 2,000, and 3,000. Again, you just want to look the cards up on Footbin, put bids on them. Very, very simple method. We have then got the first inform trading method. This is the 9.9k bin trading method. All you want to do is just go special maximum uh, by now. 9.9k, you're looking for uh, mainly gold cards that have been listed up for minimum price by people who haven't bothered checking the prices. Uh, it works really well later in the game. Right now, it's not the best because there aren't that many Team of the Weeks obviously out on packs. But it does also work pretty well for getting really cheap bronze and silver informs. As you saw there, there was a good deal on that bronze inform. Could have picked up, but it's a really effective method later on in FIFA. The next method is really, really effective for picking up inform deals. You just want to put the maximum buy now to 12.5k. And special, you're going to be picking up a lot of gold informs. People have listed quite cheap. And you're also going to see those bronze and silver informs that people have obviously listed up a bit too cheap as well. You just want to go to the 15th minute, press Y and B to refresh the pages. And yeah, you're just going to have a lot of gold informs listed up quite cheap. Uh, this, again, works quite well later on in the game. Right now, there aren't many Team of the Weeks. It doesn't work too well, but you can get some really, really good cheap bin deals later on in FIFA. This method here is another version of the 1-2-3 method, this time with 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 as the price is. And uh, right here I'm using it without the special filter, you can also use it with the special filter, but you just want to look the price up on Footbin yet again. Find any cards that you can put bids on, try and bid up to a decent price, pick them up, and uh, hopefully make some decent profit on them. Really easy method, you can get normal cards. And also using the next method right here, which is exactly the same filter, but this time with special, you can uh, get inform deals obviously with this method as well. This one here, you get a load of really, really good open bid deals to put bids on. Uh, ones in the 59th minute where no one's put a bid on them yet. Also, some ones that have been up for ages that people list for like three days. For example, all these Milliks here, really, really good deals just to add to your transfer targets, put bids on, and you can uh, easily get them for a couple of thousand coins cheaper. Moving on to the very high budget methods, we start off with a legend sniping filter. Right here, you just want to find the minimum buy now for legends on the transfer market. So right here, it is 165,000 coins. And uh, that was actually undercutted by about 20k. And you do see that a lot with legends. People always undercut them to get quite a quick sale. Because legends are quite hard to sell on. Obviously because they're really high price. And the fact that not many people have that amount of coins. So you just want to find the minimum buy now for legends. And then you just want to uh, try and snipe them. I have done a video on sniping. If you don't know how. Or if you don't know the best ways. There will be a link in the description. Go and check that if you do want to learn how to snipe players very very effectively. But what you want to do. Just try and snipe legends. You can get some really good ones listed under minimum. Someone got a Maldini for like 120k last year. When he was about a million. Really really effective method. And finally, we've got yet another version of the 1-2-3 method, this time with 100,000, 150,000, and 200,000 as the prices. And you're going to be finding the top-end players on the game right here. And you're going to be getting them on open bid deals. So you can see Robin, Sanchez, Modric, Di Maria, loads of players like that. Really good deals you can pick up. And you can do this on an even higher scale with, for example, 500,000, a million, and 1.5 million as the prices. Uh, there, you're going to be trading with like maybe four or five different types of players. There's just going to be like the top end legends, uh, and right now, just like Ronaldo, Messi. Obviously, later in the game, there'll be more informs and things. But right now, you can do it with those really, really high budgets. Towards the end of FIFA, it, w it works really well with a uh, much higher budget because there's loads of team of the years and team of the seasons on the game. But right now, I wouldn't really uh, say it's a good idea to go higher than um, probably about maybe 200,000. 400,000 and 600,000 or something like that because you're going to be having just a couple of cards on the market Their prices can drop and fluctuate a lot. So you don't want to be putting all your eggs in one basket I would recommend if you've got a lot of coins to just use some of these slightly lower down methods Say you've got a million coins You don't want to be putting all of that million coins on one player in case their price does fluctuate too much So I would recommend using the method I just showed you if you've got a really really large amount of coins Say you've got a million coins as I said just use the last method I showed you Maybe you could use some of the methods I showed earlier on if you want. But I wouldn't recommend going higher than that right now on the game just because there aren't that many cards and they could fluctuate a lot in price. However, later in the game, there's going to be a lot more different types of cards. They're selling for a lot, so I would recommend using uh, maybe slightly higher price increments in the 1-2-3 method later on in the game. But right now, as I said, just use 100,000, 150,000 and also 200,000. There we go guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you have enjoyed, hopefully it has helped you out. Hopefully it will help you make 
lots of coins on FIFA 17 because that's what this video is obviously for. And yeah, I've put so much effort and time into this video. So as said in the intro, if you could drop a like on the video right now, that would be awesome. I would really appreciate that. So yeah, drop a like on the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. Stay updated when I upload daily FIFA content. And yeah, hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.